Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to calculate the electric field due to a charge distribution. Okay. Now, see for a point charge, we have seen that suppose uh, this is charge Q, okay, and uh, this is some point P, which is at a distance R from this charge. Okay. So for this point charge, electric field intensity it is directed in this direction away from the charge because this is a positive charge. Okay, this is a positive charge, so electric field intensity is directed away. And how about the magnitude of this electric field? Magnitude of this electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square. Okay, so this is the expression for electric field due to a point charge at a distance r from the charge. Okay. So now suppose we have to find the electric field intensity for a charge distribution, not for a single charge, but for a charge distribution. Then how to use this concept? Okay. So in this case, we are going to find the electric field due to a uniformly charged ring. Okay. So now suppose you have a uniformly charged ring. Okay. As in this case. Okay. Suppose this ring is uniformly charged. Okay and Q is the charge and R is the radius okay and suppose uh, this uh, this this position this position of the pen it is at the center of the ring then this pen represents the axis of the ring axis of the ring and this point is point P okay and this pen point is at O that is the center of the ring so this is at the center of the ring and at point P we have to find the expression for electric field okay at this point at this point at this point we have to find the expression for electric field due to charge q which is distributed throughout the length of the ring okay so suppose this is the ring okay this is the center of the ring o and this is the axis of the ring and this is the point p at which we have to find the electric field okay and uh, this is the ring ring is in this position so this is the this part and this is the front part okay the ring is held in this position and the axis is like this okay and the ring is positively charged so positive charge is distributed throughout the ring okay so suppose uh, capital q is the charge and uh, capital r is the radius this op distance is x that means at distance x from the center of the ring we have to find the expression for electric field intensity due to charge q that is distributed throughout the ring okay so that is the problem and we have to solve this problem now let us take one small segment okay this small segment and suppose this segment has charge dq okay so this segment is at this position okay the segment is at the top position and for this segment we have to find the electric field at this point p okay now obviously the charge is positive charge so electric field is directed away from the charge so this is the dash of the electric field okay now suppose uh, this angle is theta okay and let us take this as y axis and this horizontal axis as x axis okay so if this angle is theta this angle will also be theta so if this is d this is theta this component will be d cos theta component along x axis and this point p so component along y axis it will be in the downward direction for this point for this element it will be d sin theta okay so this is d cos theta this is d sin theta now corresponding to this element there will be an identical element just opposite to it diametrically opposite diametrically opposite so this is that element for this element again if this angle is theta this angle will also be theta because they are diametrically opposite okay so for this element electric field intensity it will be in this direction this is de okay so again if this is theta this is theta so for this de again you will have one component in this direction that is d cos theta and for this d vertical component as d sin theta okay so as you can see for these two elements this d sin theta component they cancels out because they are in opposite direction 
and the cos theta component they add up. Okay. Now, see, uh, this is for these two elements. Okay. So similar to these two elements, there will be so many elements throughout the circum circumference of the ring. So for those, and all those elements, if you add, see, the D is and theta, they will be in opposite direction. Correct. So that means only the D cos theta component will contribute to the electric field. Okay. So here, this D E sin theta components cancels out. Components cancels out. Okay. So there is no component of electric field along the y-axis for this ring. Okay. So the resultant field will be along x-axis. So resultant field E net it will be along x-axis and it will be so I need to add all those d cos theta component for the circumference. So ex will be integration d e cos theta and what will be the limit of integration? It will be 0 to twice pi r because I have to add all those components which are on the circumference for all components throughout the circumference. Okay. Now what is the value of this de? d e is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught dq, dq is the charge on this segment, this small segment and what about this distance, this distance is r square plus x square, square of this, so this will be r square plus x square, okay, the square root is removed because this is charge divided by distance square, so now if I substitute this value over here, what do I get, I get ex is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, uh, this is uh, dq by r square plus x square cos theta. Cos theta is how much? Cos theta is base by hypotenuse. So that is x divided by r square plus x square which we call half. Okay. And this we have to integrate from 0 to twice by r. Okay. So integration is for this dq. Okay. Now see, what is this dq? dq is uh, charge per unit length. What is the charge? Q. Q by twice pi r is the charge per unit length. Correct? Now if I take the length of this segment as dx. Okay. So charge per unit length into length. Charge per unit length into length will give you the charge on that small segment and that is equal to dq. So dq can be written as q by twice pi r into dx. So if I integrate this 0 to twice pi r, then I have to integrate this from 0 to twice pi r. So integration of dx 0 to twice pi r, it will be how much? It will be twice pi r. So this is q by twice pi r into twice pi r. So this twice pi r twice pi r cancels. So what is this? This is equal to Q. So that means this term reduces to Q. So simplifying this, what do I get? I get E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Qx. This is this becomes Q times X and R square plus X square raised to the power 3 by 2. So this is the expression for the magnitude of electric field at this point P along the axis of this uniformly charged ring and what is the direction of this electric field? It is in this direction along the axis away from the ring provided this ring has positive charge. Now in the similar case suppose this ring is uniformly charged but now the sign of the charge is negative. In that case again the electric field will be this one but it will be in this direction towards the ring because for negative charge electric field intensity is directed towards the charge. And for positive charge distribution, electric field intensity is directed away from the charge. Okay, so that is our direction, and this is the magnitude. Okay, now let us discuss some special cases. So, uh, what will happen if this point P is at the center of the ring? Okay, if point P is at the center of the ring, what will be the value of x? X will be equal to zero. If x is equal to zero, E will be equal to zero. So, at center of ring, at center of ring x is equal to 0, so this implies e is equal to 0, okay, and far away from the ring, if you are far away from the ring, okay, far 
away from ring. That means x is much greater than r. x is much greater than r. Correct. If you are far away from the ring, x will be much greater than r. Now see, if you are far away from the ring, won't the ring appear like a point charge? Okay. Now for point charge, we already know what is the expression for electric field intensity. Let's see what happened here. See here, r square plus x square. This r square plus x square, it will become x square because x is much greater than r. So what will be the final expression? E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Qx divided by r square plus x square becomes x square. x square part 3 by 2, so that is x cube. So this x and this becomes x square. So E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by x square. So see. The ring is behaving like a point charge. Ring is behaving like a point charge. E is 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by x square. Okay. So far away from the ring, the ring will behave like a point charge. Okay. Achha, another observation. See, uh, at center, at center of ring, we have x equal to 0 and E is equal to 0. Okay. And for x much greater than r, we have e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by x square. Okay, q by x square. So that means if x is equal to x tends to infinity, e tends to 0. Correct. So that means at x equal to 0, electric field intensity is 0. At x equal to infinity, electric field intensity is again 0. So that means between x equal to 0 and x equal to infinity, this electric field is acquiring its maximum value. Okay, because electric field intensity, the value will change as you move away from the ring. See, near the ring, uh, at the center of the ring, electric field intensity is 0. So, as you are moving, electric field intensity will increase. It has to increase because it, here it is 0, infinity also it is 0. So, somewhere in between, it is acquiring a maximum value. So, what is the maximum value of this electric field intensity? Let us now calculate that. Okay. So, the expression we obtained was P is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Qx divided by R square plus X square 3 by 2. Okay. So, that means here electric field intensity is varying with X because all the other quantities Q, this Q radius R, they are constant. So, Q and R, they are constant. What is changing is X and, and X as X changes, as X changes the value of E also changes. So for uh, for E is equal to E max, for E is equal to E max, that is maximum value of electric field, dE by dx, the slope should be equal to 0. Okay, that is the condition for maxima. So now let us differentiate this. So dE by dx, now this is differentiation of the form u by v. So this is q by 4 pi epsilon naught. Uh, I have to differentiate this. So, this is of the form u by v. So, this is u and this is v. Okay. So, this is uh, r square plus x square 3 by 2. Differentiation of x is 1. So, minus x. Then I have to differentiate this. So, this is 3 by 2 r square plus x square square root of this. Then, differentiation of x square is twice x divided by r square plus x square q and this quantity is equal to 0 because dE by dx is equal to 0. So this is r square plus x square 3 by 2. I am taking this to the other side and this 2 2 gets cancelled. This is x3. So this is 3x square r square plus x square square. So this term gets cancelled. This 3 by 2 goes. So this r plus x square equal to 3x square. So r square is equal to 2x square. So x is equal to plus minus r by root 2. x equal to plus minus r by root 2. So at this location, the value of electric field intensity will be maximum. Okay. So what does it mean? It means suppose we have uh, this is the ring. Okay. And this is the horizontal axis. Okay. So this is x axis and this is the electric field. Okay, this particular is the electric field. See, uh, if this is ring is positively charged, 
So if you are at this side, electric field intensity is in this direction. If you are on this side, electric field intensity is in this direction, away from the ring because it is a positive charge ring. Now if I take this direction as positive direction, then this direction will be negative direction. And at x equal to 0, this x equal to 0, center of the ring electric field intensity is 0. This is suppose x is equal to plus r by root 2. And this is suppose uh, uh, this is x is equal to minus r by root 2. So at this location the electric field is maximum, at this location the electric field is maximum and at x equal to 0 it becomes 0. So here it acquires a maximum value and again it decreases at x equal to infinity it becomes 0. So here also it, the graph goes, goes like this. Okay. So this is this is the graph showing the variation of electric field intensity with distance for a uniformly charged ring. And at this location x equal to plus minus r by root 2, plus r by root 2 minus r by root 2 electric field intensity will be maximum and if you substitute this value of x uh, in this expression you will get the maximum value of electric field intensity and what will be the value uh, 2y cube root of 3 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square 2 by q root of 3 so this is for x equal to plus minus r by root 2 this is the maximum value of electric field. So electric field will be maximum on this location at distance r by root 2 at this location at distance minus r by root 2 minus r by root 2 means you are going in this direction and this is the maximum value of the electric field. Okay. So these are few of the concepts related to electric field due to a uniformly charged ring. Hope these derivation and these steps are clear to you.